arrived in France. Family holiday in uh, southern France. <laughs> and uh, hopefully the weather will be alright. I think it's supposed to be storming tonight. It's too hot now to be flying or too, too thermal. But just jumped out of the pool and thought I'd reassemble my paramotor of course. Still haven't repaired this netting since uh, Icarus X. Time to get that done. So, great location this. I've got a place under the place we're staying in where I can store my paramotor, store all my kit. And then this field is also owned by the people that own this, this house. And it's uh, just around the back here. Could this be my first taste of French air? Two years ago I brought my paramotor. <laughs> and on my first attempt to fly from here, I smashed my propeller and didn't have a spare. So that was that for the holiday. Let's see how it goes today. <sighs> Hopefully a bit more success. Certainly a bit more experience this time. Oh wow, in front of my family, that's a first. A couple of firsts there. Don't see them. At the pool. Something was a bit weird with my wing though. Something popped out at the last minute, don't know what. Right, let's check, everything looks alright. Bonjour! <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful warm evening. This is just stunning. Hello, France, French countryside. So, this is uh, Lot et Garon, just uh, south of Bordeaux. It's 
very quiet down there. Not much going on today. Nice monument. because I've never flown around here before. Don't know what I'm looking for. Could have looked at the little red line on PPGPS. shift. Seatboard away. Brents in hands. Our oh, family have gone in. They're out of the pool. Go past the house. Going to loosen my leg straps a bit. Not that much. Whoa. altitude fast enough on this approach. No. Oh, come on, 
Land, 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 land. <laughs> Almost on my feet. <sighs> and a bit running out of running out of field there. That's scary. I went out to, you know that monument, Monbahus or whatever it's called? That, that monument on a, no not the tumulus, the one over there. Um, I just flew out to that and round it. <laughs> Mind the fence. Right, okay, well, oh. sorry. What's this? That's meant to be a hole. They're, they're called, um, by the way, you've been videoed. <laughs> <laughs> there, hang on. <laughs> That's where the air goes in to give it its wing shape. Okay. Did you love it? Yeah, I did. I did. I just needed to do a short little flight like that. Right, I'm going to turn this thing off. Now that is running out of field. Uh, I'm going to pace it out. One, two, three. That is too close to the end of the field. 18 metres, I just paced it out. Uh, sorry, 18 yards, maybe about 15 metres. That is too close to the field, sloping down, so it just kept dropping away. I thought I was never gonna land. Ugh, sort of skidded on my butt a bit as well, but hey, no change there. Um, so, um, nil, win, nil wind launch. So I started, in fact, I can probably work out where I started, somewhere around here. Um, but I flattened a couple of plants, broke them off, yeah, here's one. So I started about here, um, and um, had uh, held my A-risers, hooked over my thumbs like you do, um, leant forward, bit of air over the wing for five seconds just to kind of get the air moving above the wing, um, leant back, ran forward, got to about here, uh, wing started coming up, uh, started moving forward applied a bit of power possibly a bit too early before I was you know instead of waiting until the thing was up but then the big mistake was that I let go of my risers boom before the wing was fully up if you look on the video you can just about see that and um, so I let go and um, for some reason, the left, which I haven't worked out, I don't know if one of these, one of these twigs on the ground here maybe got caught or something like that, but um, for some reason, the left leading edge was tucked under and that left enough slack. Um, it was already tucked under before I let go of the riser, so it wasn't just letting go of the riser too early. Um, that left um, a little bit of slack in the, in the, in the, uh, in the A riser, the leading riser, um, which then flipped round behind the rest of the set of risers and actually got caught on the magnet holder. Now I've noticed on um, most modern uh, gliders that I've looked at, they don't seem to have the magnet on a sort of coin shape anymore. It's it's bedded into the, it's sewn into the fabric, so you, you're not so likely to have a problem. And um, and so so it got wrapped round. And uh, I started running, and about here, I noticed that, um, that for some reason the, the the wing was pulling to the left. I think I left the ground probably about here. Um, in which case, and then at that point, you can just see, um, firstly, one part of the magnet, and then the the other part, the holder. I think one bit was the magnet, and one bit the holder. I think the magnet came off first, um, from what I can see on the video. Um, probably about here. I haven't checked my prop yet to see if it caused any damage to that. I hope not. Um, and then about here somewhere, I left the ground and uh, hopefully I'll find the magnet. Found a magnet, Astrid? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course, if that um, leading edge, which was tucked under, hadn't come uh, loose and hadn't popped out, then potentially what could have happened is a bit of a gust coming over that hill there 
or um, I mean, those trees or whatever, it would have made it much more vulnerable to just tucking right under and then whoosh, spiral and oh, it doesn't even bear thinking about what could have happened. So very glad that I found the problem so I can sort it out. Um, I'm not going to look for the magnet any longer because actually I just want to replace it. So um, I'm going to have a look at a few other wings on the internet and find out what they do, but probably going to go for some sort of Velcro option or sewing in a magnet. So I'm not going to be flying again probably in France until I've sorted it out. Thank <laughs> you.